What is grounding good for? The majority of radio electronic devices may work well without grounding. Yet there are a few peculiarities. Most power supply units have elementary filter on the input, consisting of two capacitors. The filter's main task is to cut the high-frequency constituent. The filter can be a more complex device engaging a throttle, but usually it's a pair of condensers. As a result, depending on condenser's capacity, we get the potential of approximately 100 volts on device frame relative to the mass and neutral mains. Under certain circumstances, this increases the hazard of electrical shock when touching the electronic device body. In some places where the three-phase network is used, the situation is even worse. Potential difference between the housings of, say, computers placed on different phases can reach hundreds of volts. As a result, for instance, when connecting the computers into the network, the hardware damage is practically inevitable. Moreover, the grounding is vital for protection from electromagnetic radiation. The manufacturers constantly struggle to reduce the electromagnetic radiation. In fact, all the efforts to reduce radiation level come to zero when plugging the devices incorrectly. The grounding allows to reduce the high-frequency electromagnetic radiation, decrease the electric circuit interference, lower the external noise influence on devices, ensure the normal operation of the devices in the network, eliminate the capacitive current shock hazard.